Hello everybody and welcome to Chief Gaming. I am Chief and today we are going to be talking about how to set up a mod for Skyrim. Uh, you'll be wanting to use the Nexus Mod Manager. It's easier than just running around with files. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install and use the Nexus Mod Manager. Uh, first you want to Google Nexus Mod Manager. It should be the first hit. I apologize my internet was a little slow on the day of recording. And um, Nexus Mod Manager is essentially something that just helps you organize your mods, install them, uninstall them, so you don't have to fidget around with 7-zip and WinRAR files. It makes it easier to delete, easier to install, easier to see when there's an update. It just kind of brings it all together. Um, this is my first tutorial, so I apologize if there's any quality issues with the uh, screen recording. Okay, first you want to click on the Nexus Mod Manager. Uh, it should be on the website Skyrim Nexus or just any of the Nexus sites, really. Um, and uh, once you get to the Nexus Mod Manager site, click Download Now. Oh, save file. I am on Firefox, so it downloads like this. I've already downloaded it. So just open it up once it's finished downloading, and it should automatically start the installer. You want to run. And it you know it's really the same as any other things, um, because it's installing files to your computer. I'd recommend with going all with uh, default installs. Um, I did do a different install for my Skyrim, but that still worked. So I think it it's a good. So you want to open it up, but first, sometimes when you open it up, it says uh, you don't have the right privileges. So what you want to do is to go into uh, properties, go into security, or I'm not sure what that says, but make it so it's always running as administrator. Uh, it'll always ask you, do you want to run this as administrator? Uh, the first time you start it up, usually and you want to say yes and when you want to install a mod you'll have to go to the website uh, in this case it's Titanus mod you can just google Titanus mod and or you could just go to Skyrim Nexus there's a lot of different ways you can look for mods there's the top 100 mods there's recently added files and once you go to a mod page it's got the home page there's a, there's a bar of options just below the information there is um, the change log and all the information about the mod there's files that's what you're gonna want and if you want to look at the pictures sometimes there's some good pictures for different mods especially texture mods and there's comments and that's a really good place to find a lot of the things where if you're confused you can usually go through the comments and if specifically for the titanus mod the people who are running the mod are really good about it so you want to go to files and if you're using the manager download with manager you want to look for the most recent one English if you're speaking English, which I presume you are because you're listening to me right now. And it'll start downloading. And once on there's two percentages on the right and on the left. You only need to watch the one on the right. But when it's done, it will appear on this screen. And then I'm uninstalling it just to show you. Um, that the button with the blue and red, that is the uninstall button, just if you need it later. And uh, once it's finished uninstalling, I will show you how to install it. You want to click on it if it's unchecked, and it'll be a little blue puzzle piece with a green arrow. And on the right, as you can see, that's the change log and all the information. And uh, <coughs> it's really useful to have if you don't want to go to the website. And then you go over to the left side, and you are going to want to install it. It will automatically put all the files where they need to be. And it's really handy. It's because instead of like going yes, yes to all, for any of you who have ever done installing mods manually, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass. And this kind of streamlines it, and it just saves you a lot of effort in the long run. I'm sure there are other uh, videos on how to install using 7-zip and WinRAR. That's not what I'm going to be covering. You're going to want to go onto the other tab and make sure that titanus.esp is checked. Because if it's not checked, it won't run. I recommend don't launch from the Nexus Mod Manager. Launch from the icon. You can find that in the um, Skyrim folder. I don't know where your Skyrim folder would be, but that's where you can find it. Um, thank you very much for watching um, because of the screen capture I'm using. I cannot play Skyrim while uh, that screen capture is running. So just uh, while you look at a back screen, I'm going to talk to you a bit. Um, to make sure your mod's installed, I recommend going to right, White Run and uh, go walk past Adrian Avancini and go to either the smelter or the smithing table and check to see what you can smith because if you can smith all kinds of fancy stuff then you know the mods working right uh... thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and comment if you have any questions and i will do my best to answer them 
Thank you very much. Have a good one.